Hi ladies, I'm Ali and welcome to Clear Skin and Wellbeing. So today I thought I'd show you how to reduce a double chin. But before I do, if you haven't subscribed before, please subscribe, please like and also please share. Right, now when I do any form of exercise on my face or my neck, the first thing I do is to make sure that actually is to wash the neck and the face. So my face, I don't have any products on it at the moment and I've also washed my neck and all round here and I'm now nice and it's all dry, ready for some serum. But the first thing I like to do is actually sit down nice and straight, it's quite important, you don't want to be skew with. So the soles of the feet on the ground, my back is nice and straight and also in alignment because with the double chin, the last thing you want to be doing is scrunching up and shortening the neck. You want to be nice and straight, make sure the shoulders are in their sockets and slightly back. Right, now the first thing I like to do is actually use some form of slip and I have some organic rosehip oil here. I, tend, I love rosehip oil. Any form of plant-based oil is fine. I'm not very keen on mineral oils. So yeah, I do like a good old rosehip. So if you can rub it into the fingers and the hands, and then just gently apply it to the neck and to the chin and also the jawline. Now, when I like to do any sort of form of yoga on the face or any exercises, I do like to do a warm up first, then some exercises, then a bit of a detoxification afterwards. So when I warm up, I just, if you can go from the neck here and just gently, just work towards the ears and the jawline and work your way up here to where the chin is and then towards the neck again and all the way back. That just sort of helps warm it up slightly. And then once we've done that, we can start doing some exercises. Now, first of all, I like to do a little pinching motion with my fingers and this will help stimulate the collagen. So if you can just do it under your chin and all along the jawline. Now, when you're doing any form of face exercises, you want to make sure that you are not scrunching any other parts of your face. Your face is nice and relaxed. You don't want to be creating any wrinkles anywhere. So if you just keep, keep everything nice and relaxed. So once we've done some pinching, we can do the first exercise. Now I'm just going to move my head from one side to the other. So deep breath in from the belly, in through nose and out through the mouth. And you could do this a few times. Another exercise which is really good, highly recommend, probably one of the best exercises for the double chin, is kissing the ceiling. Now, just very quickly, if you do suffer with a bad back or a bad neck, probably best to seek medical advice first before you do any of these exercises. And also, if you are doing the exercises, if, if you feel any pain, just stop. So I would actually hold the shoulders to make sure you're nice and in line. That, does help and then just lift your neck up to the ceiling and start kissing the ceiling. Now you can do that 20 times, maybe three times of 20 and that would really help with this and all this area here and all this connective tissue. Now another one is very similar but we're going to tilt the head. So if you push your head to the, move your head to the side slightly and then lift up so you're at an angle and again start kissing the ceiling. Go back down, back into the middle, deep breath and then to the side and then up and then kiss the ceiling again. Mm. 
this really works all this area and it's an amazing exercise for the double chin. Now, another thing you can do, you can do this, you know, even when you're sitting down watching TV, is get your tongue and place it to the roof of your mouth. So you're actually activating, you're actually moving this around. So I'll show you. So you're using these muscles. And you can do that five, ten times or, you know, or even more if you can. And then to finish off, I like to do an exercise where I've got my fingers and then you can just almost just work against the, your fingers with your chin. And this will just add a bit of tension here. Just move them forward on the exhale. So there we are, exercises for the double chin. But what we're going to do for now, we've done the warm up, we've done a few exercises. I like to do a bit of detoxification because you've worked this area and if there's anything there, you don't want to just hang in around all this, particularly the jawline where there are lymph nodes. So we just do a bit of detoxification now. So again, same mo movement as we did before, just working from the neck and towards the ears. Now you go very lightly because the length is very close to the surface of the skin. So you don't want to be pressing down too much and then up to the chin. And then again to the next ear. And back up. And then you can just work this area from the chin. If you get your fingers this way. At this point, you may want to swallow. Right, and then if you can just go here and just top it by your ears, if you can just do a few motions, circular motions, where your lymph nodes are, also around the back of the ears, you have lymph nodes there, the back of the neck, and then if you can just gently press down from the back of the neck towards your collarbone. And then when we get to the collarbone here, if you can just give this just a few pumps, it will just release any toxins if you have had any within your jawline or your neck. And that will release into the rest of the body for elimination. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to you know, help your double chin. And again, if you haven't subscribed before, please subscribe, please like, please share, and I will see you on the next one. Okay, bye.